welcome to your doom. Shut it and get up here. Massive up the court! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Jam Jam Show. Yes, it's been a long time. Again, I keep making these kind of videos where I explain that like, it's been a long time and so forth. Um, I think by the, by the time I've uploaded this video, um, I have uploaded another video before uh, about finding a bunch of VHS tapes like, by the roadside. Um, that was the previous video, I believe. Oh no, I'm said in that video, I'm going to explain things of my uh, de delay and my, like, you know, long hiatus now. Um, basically, um, not a lot of issues with anxiety and things. Um, back to I went back to work start of February. Um, um, I went to uh, through ACAS through Citizens Advice, find out certain things. Um, I was very happy with what how it was being dealt with. Now, don't get me wrong. This like, I've I've explained to my workplace um, that I wasn't happy with how it was dealt with so none of this is going to be news to anyone who may may be watching may watch at some point I don't think they will but well if if for posterity this is this is just me saying stuff that they already know kind of thing I'm not just saying this as a as a thing anyway um, so I wasn't happy with everything and you know with a lot of things um, so basically I wasn't being told things in in I would say a really timeline, a fair timeline of things. So my anxiety was really, really high uh, because I thought, what the hell? What, you know, why ain't you getting back to me about stuff? Anyway, push. Well, I say push him to shove, but you know, I, no, I'm not scripted this. I just scripted it at one point. I don't know where that's gone, so I'm just like kind of doing it off the hoof. Anyway, um, so um, they put me on, well, one of the wellness meetings I went to, um, you know, I just I said, yeah, okay, I'll do this other department, I'm not doing that department because that department sent me on the, you know, all full of anxiety and all that. You know, don't get me wrong, there are other things apart from work, as well as work that, you know, affecting me in that way and still to this day. Um, okay, so, you know, I went back to work, well, I had to go, because it's a new department I've not been on before, there's two weeks of training for this new department. I had to, um, Commit to this two weeks and then you know do a well do a phase return which I'm still on. Um, so you know did that. Um, problem was I was told I wasn't told everything that I had to do on the department. Um, so when I find out there's extra things and there's other things and all that, I like you know I thought what the heck you know it didn't. I was prepared. There was someone who wants not really not not unreasonably you know being told exactly what is required and when you know obviously there's like you know there's little things you can give and take here and there don't get me wrong i say not unreasonable you know for someone who suffers, suffers what i do and you know i know when i suddenly get to, you know put in the deep end sort of thing i kind of panic i kind of get anxious and get a headache here and all the rest of it and you know all the rest of it so that's what happened um so when i found out when in the training um you know not only do you do this, you do this and this, and there's all these things and everything, you know, all these things. And I thought, shit, I ain't gonna um, remember all this, you know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna do all this? And you know, um, so then, you know, she said, oh, you know, so it was about 12 of us all together, and she said, oh, you know, I kind of le learned certain, these certain things by, you know, so it's Tuesday now, by Thursday, Friday, I was kind of okay with it. Thursday, Friday came, and I thought, no, it's not really sticking in. Because my head, you know, it's you know, is anxious and stuff uh, going in my head. And when I'm like this, I don't retain information. It's in there. At the time, it was in there. I've been told. I'm writing down. I'm paying attention. It's going in there. I don't believe it's going out of there, but it's not making any sense in my head. So the two weeks, you know, um, was coming up to the end, and I get all panicking in the end, though, and I started like getting, you know, uh, I went to HR, went to, you know, had a meetings, had this and that, and said, look, you know, I'm having trouble, I'm struggling with this, trying to, uh, you know, remember all this stuff and do all this. I'm not doing as much as I can because obviously they didn't know what knew what was going on because I filled them in if they didn't, you know, in terms of why I've been off for three months and all, you know, all the, all, you know, all the rest of it, just the basics of it, and. Um, so, just going back 
on the thing, there's a lot of anxiety and all that, you know. It's, it's less than to a point than I have bad days anyway and all that stuff. And it's been affecting me, you know. You know, it's one thing where you don't, you shouldn't take your, bring your crap into work. You know, you, you if you're having a bad personal life, you don't take, you don't bring it into work basically. You don't be a dick to people. You know, because you had a bad morning, bad evening, bad whatever. You know, it's not fair. It's not their fault. The whole thing with mental health, I think, you know, I felt and I still feel, you know, um, frustrated with myself and frustrated with people who, certain people who know me. You know, I'm not naming names, but you know, when I've the information is out there. It's on the internet. It's in the book. It's it's you know it's in the media. It's you know it's a big thing for a lot of people and myself. And I find it frustrating that I've had to repeatedly remind certain people of what this is. This you know it's classed as a mental illness. It's not mental. It's not mood. It's not a, oh, it's not something. And it, and it frustrates me when I have, I have to keep reminding them this whole thing. As well as work, you know, is it was kind of it was effect, it is affecting me, you know. It, like um, I had ideas to do uh, an animation. I still have, don't get me wrong. And other projects that fell down the wayside. But I did a video on this a while back, uh, you know, with my um, um, you know lack of self confidence and things. Because I, I truly believe I've I've lacked self confidence for years. You know, in my ability to. Be creative or something, and what, uh, or just things in general. I've been over, and I've always been an overthinker. And I think this is the, the crux of the thing. I think because um, I've since been back at work, I've had quite a lot of uh, self-initiated um, HR meetings. You know, um, and they say to me, um, "If you're feeling like this, come and tell us, because we don't know otherwise." Kind of thing. So you know, with that in mind. I'm gonna be a pain in the ass sometimes with them, you know. And I said, I said, I'm not gonna be a pain in the ass, but you know, yeah, I'm here again. With this is how I'm feeling because of this, this, this. You know. And I say, it sounds as though you've been a bit too tough on yourself. You find like you you want to know all the things right now, and you have to be completely kind of um, uh, confident on everything. And it's just you know uh, you're asking too much of yourself. Well, that's it. And I think that that's what it is in general, not just for this job, but it's like in general. I know what I used to be, maybe you know, the younger, younger is more innocent times. I don't know, but um, I'm kind of rambling. But basically, I think it comes down to it's not like a self confidence in this instance. I don't think it is with the work thing that has affected you know my creative side. You know, I come home in a bit of a mood, um, not in a mood, but in, in a state of mind, I should say. As I said to you, it's not it's not a mood, it's it's an illness and you know. I don't wanna you know, there's like I'm saying this now, I'm not falling back on and I'm not excusing myself for being, you know, now and again a bit short with people. You know what I mean? I've got no problem with anyone at work or anything, but you know, I'm I'm not saying, Oh, I can do this because of I'm mentally ill. I'm I'm not I'm, I can do this because I've got anxiety. I'm I'm not saying that's an excuse. I overeat that's one of the things um, I know I've, I've put on, you know, I've put on weight and I want to get better and you know to like, lose it and do this and that and you know it's one of the things I do um, when I'm in this mood and I've thought of different ways of how to express myself in this way and obviously the YouTube I've had a YouTube channel for you know almost three years now uh, yeah come up in June three years uh, obviously I've had a lot of breaks in the past year you know I've made videos regarding why this is so um, and you know, I was thinking maybe um, doing um, like a comic book um, in a way, like an American Splendor style thing. I'm just frustrated with myself, like, I can't seem to hold on to an idea and you know, that story and just run with, say, run with it and like, like follow it to completion, kind of thing. Because I, I mentioned in the a couple of videos, I think, else, including the one about my self self confidence issues. It was a uh, kind of um, saying, I can't, you know, I've got all these unfinished projects. I've got loads of them over the years. I've got folders. I've got folders there. I've got folders in the loft. I've, you know, for absolutely years. You know, seriously, about since I was about fifteen, probably even earlier, even younger. I mean, yeah, I've been at college and all that. You know, I've finished the degree and finished the. All the qualifications I've got and things, and you know, I've I've learnt skills to a point where you know I feel confident in myself, kind of thing. But in terms of my own projects, I don't know what it is. 
So I'm frustrated with myself, I'm frustrated with life, I'm frustrated with um, having this thing, um, you know, I say this thing, that anxiety, it just flare up, you know, more at work, I said to the people, you know, that said to the various people, uh, it's more li more at work, at certain, at, s at specific points of my work, it's more than it eases off, then it comes back, then, you know, all the rest of it, you know, like, it doesn't go completely, but it just eases off a little bit, you know, certain times, and I thought, yeah, there's a co that I can see, I, it's, I can see a pattern with it. When I'm home, even if I'm having a, you know, a, a, long, a difficult night, whatever, the anxiety raises, but not to the point of what it's like at work. So I believe it's a work thing. I'm, I'm looking for a different work, you know, it's more suits for me. I want to get back onto onto the YouTube, onto me jab jab show. Um, while making this and while I'm currently uploading my video uh, when I found a bunch of videos by the side I've been off the grid for ages, you know, I've had a few people I've talked to now and again I've not been on my channel since my last video I don't watch my old videos, I think there's only one of my old videos I've watched since I've uploaded it I just I just make them, upload them, there you go, out of that So I don't know, apologies, I've not read any messages if any that I've got um, I'll just make a video reaction video to whatever if there's any messages whatsoever I don't know we'll see uh, in terms of my channel um, I've been going through certain um, ideas um, I still want to do pickups you know I, I'm a collector I like collecting you know, see those all these things behind me and you know I've done I've done pickup videos in the past um, video get retro games uh, movies um, I also want to do and I made the point of like I did um, a video I say fairly recently but obviously not but a video in the past regarding uh, the uh, the closure of two man two British magazines video game magazines and I talked a little bit about you know video game magazines back in the, back in the day and so forth um, I have there I can see them now a big pile of pile of video, uh, video game magazines from back in the day you talk about early not late 80s early 90s um, which you know, I want to do a video on them. Uh, I want to just do videos on like vlog kind of stuff and just not be confined to this room. I uh, just want to go out and show stuff and do stuff and like, stream and conscious like kind of thing. It's much like this. Speak mind kind of thing. Um, I feel more comfortable doing this. this. This isn't polished enough to me. I mean, the other thing I've got is a light that I can see there because um, I'm using a light because otherwise, if I use a room light, which is directly above me. I look rubbish or shadows on my t-shirt, whatever, and you know, I mean, if I do that, you can see glare in my eyes, I can see, so, you know, now and again, my videos, like, you know, look like I've got, like, glowing eyes, which is kind of spooky, I don't know, um, so, you know, going forward, I want to comment on things, um, video game, film, film type stuff, and just, just open it up a little bit, I'll do an update on, um, uh, my animation, to be honest, because of what I mentioned about the anxiety and things, uh, not really done much work in it. It's weird because you know, films and retro games have, have I believe, like saved me uh, in a lot of ways, and so has my creativity. And despite what I say about the previous, you know, um, down the years, we've got all these all, all unfinished things. You know, um, in terms of just take my, trying to take my mind off work when I'm at work and things and, and I drift off into a fantasy world if you will on my own little world and uh, you know what's been happening in the past week or so you know while it's been improving I've still got a hurt neck there but that, that's from sleeping bad uh, but I've still got the anxiety uh, what I've been doing is um, thinking about an old an older uh, idea I ha I've had it's it hadn't gone very far as in, you know, in, uh, so much as just a, a bunch of lines or something, a sci-fi set in the future um, about a, a lonely guy who is the last person in this factory. And he's you know, he keeps breaking down and he's wondering why. And it's like a seventy sci-fi kind of story, but set in the future. You know, it's just, it's, it's the kind of thing I had an idea, and I'm thinking more fleshing that out into a story. That's the thing for me, I have confidence in myself in I can do these things in theory, okay? Uh, it just takes me a long time uh, to draw and to animate. I know the, the principles and it's difficult to find a time because you know the work-life balance I've always had, struggled with. 
um, especially with the little and all the rest of it. And it's it, it's a it's been you know certainly with the what I've been mentioning, it's been a, been a very difficult uh, to kind of get me, get into that mindset. But all the way through this, all, you know, from going back to work and where I am now and things, it's I don't believe I'm strong enough mentally to kind of stand up for myself and to um, express myself and, and tell people when they need to know what I'm going through and all the rest of it. You know, I don't I don't hide this, you know, I don't announce it and and want sympathy or pity or I don't go for that. I don't go for the self pity or anything, you know. Um I say, right, you know what? I feel like this because of I believe this and this and this is happening because of this, blah, 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 you know, I, you know, I'm strong enough to say that, I don't want to hide it because, I don't know, I just don't feel like, um, you know, that's the right thing to do, in my eyes, anyway, in my opinion, uh, but I'll say, all the way through this, from going back to work, my last video, whenever, in January, uh, it's obviously that middle of March now, it's not a complete breakdown of my being, my strengths are in this, this and this, I know crap at this, uh, but I know this, so therefore this will always win out over this, you know. So, so it's not about. I never, I've never hated myself like you know really. Um, I'm frustrated with myself. Obviously, I'll feel a lot of frustration. We can do this, this, and this. There's no point in going on about it. There's nothing I can do about this, 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 and whatever these are. Can't do anything about them. It's just what it is. What can I do? And that's why that's my approach. It's been my approach for years. Another thing I've had for years is the fact I always um, have an overactive mind, imagination. Um, so I, my mind sometimes works overtime, I overthink things, as I say, and that leads to a lot of anxiety in certain situations. And you know, uh, so that's what's basically happened. You know, I'm just talking too much because I've got. I do. I know I do go off on tangents, especially when it's not scripted. So that's why I script things so much. You know, when I do film reviews and things, uh, I did loosen it a little bit. You know, towards the end, I know. Uh, towards the end, back in the groove is out. I've not played it. I've not got it. Um, I don't know what format I'll get it. Get it for and things. I've I've got the latest retro gamer magazine, which does review it. Um, I've not watched any reviews online, if there is any, um, I'm guessing there are. Um, so I'd like to get a copy, get hold of a copy of that and just see what's going on, because I, I love the first one. Very odd, very out there, very 90s. You know, I've missed it, I've missed the kind of like camaraderie with, you know, some of the other followers, you know, subscribers and things. I miss lots of lovely uh, people on, online, on YouTube. I just want to have fun, I want to get back to having fun on YouTube and things. Um, I have missed it, so uh, uh, I've got videos. I'll say the previous video. I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to upload tonight. It's been Saturday. It's it's, it's late because I did I shot the video on the Thursday. It's, obviously, it's Saturday now, but anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> so a lot of that, and that, you know, and that's brought me back to it. It's an inciting incident in, in terms of storytelling. It's one of them inciting incidents that um you know has brought me back. Thank you for watching. I'll see you I'll speak to you soon, make another video. I don't know which one yet. I've got a, I've got a couple of magazine uh, based videos that I wanna make. I wanna make some pickup videos, a lot of crazy stuff I yeah I've I've, I've bought. Just wanna make videos again, just be more pro productive, show people that, like, you know, uh, I'm battling and fighting on being brave, whatever, I don't know, but you know, I wanna do that. So thanks for watching anyway, keep saying that, so I'll um, speak to you soon. And uh, you, you like, subscribe, comment, all, you, know, you know all that. See you later.